Hello, 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 it's me, Curvenaut here, and today we're going to be looking at some more geostationary orbits, because people seem to like geostationary orbits, it's my most viewed video, and it's kind of creeping me out how much people seem to like this stuff. Nonetheless, we're going to do more. Um, specifically, I'm going to do two types of geostationary orbits. First of all is a geostationary orbit which is directly overhead the Kerbal Space Center. Um, which is kind of on the continent of Africa, I think it's called, or something along the lines of that, I don't know. Um, the, 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 the continent that looks like Africa. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how to get into this orbit, because um, despite appearances, it is quite a, a, a difficult orbit to get into um, when, you, when, when you want to get directly overhead a place. But don't worry, I'm going to show you that right now. So let us just get right into it. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on here. A geostationary orbit, as you um, learned from last time, and if you haven't watched the other video, go have a look at it, it's very helpful. Um, as you've learned from last time, a geostationary orbit is an orbit which takes 24 hours for the sh ship to complete, or the body to complete its orbit. Um, and you can see here, what we've got is um, a satellite and... Mr. Jebediah Kerman standing at the space center, just marking out where it is. And you can see that that's following around rather well. And this is what we want to get into. This is the whole idea of getting into it. Now, you can imagine um, getting into this orbit is much along the lines of um, docking or rendezvousing with another ship. Except instead of rendezvousing with a ship, you're just rendezvousing with a point in space where a ship would be, but it's not. Uh, we're going to use this to get into uh, our orbit. This is the uh, Tourist Mark II. Now, the Tourist Mark I was very lovely, but I lost it accidentally. And so this is the Tourist Mark II, and you can hear the wonderful engines burning at, what was it, three times speed, four times speed, as we ascend into the atmosphere. So... What are we doing? Well, we're dropping tanks, dropping tanks, dropping more tanks, and I'm just going to go right for the orbit. Now, to do this, you just burn. You just keep burning, and you will burn until you get your apoapsis up to 2868 kilometers. That is a vital number right there. Uh, the the time it takes to go round your orbit is dependent on your speed and the distance you have to travel, which basically means in orbiting stuff, you have to be at a specific height for geostationary orbit. Height matters. You can't have a geostationary orbit at any height, because the height depends on your speed, and it's your speed that dictates um, how long it's going to take for you to, um, well, get... Ground. Anyway, you can see what we're doing here is we're going to circularize, or kind of circularize, but although we can get directly into our geostationary orbit right now, we don't want to, because as I said, we want to get over the Kerbal Space Center. So how on earth are we going to do that? Well, if you take the idea of rendezvousing um, before, as I said, um, you're going to want to do one main thing. This, what I'm doing here, is just aesthetical, aesthetical, aesthetics, you know what I mean, just to make it look nice. I really didn't like that little inclina inclination I had there. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to continue. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into a slightly higher orbit, because you are in front of the place you want to be, which is shown by the other satellite that you will see here. So you want to go into a higher orbit. This is exactly the same as Rendezvous. So you're going to slow yourself down so it's going to catch up. Now here I overshoot a bit and I end up behind the satellite. Now that's kind of bad because, well, that means I'm not in the right place. And so I have to bring my orbit down, back down, below 2868, which means I'm going to speed up a wee bit and catch up with that satellite. Or, in your case, with the point you want to be. Um, with with that point over the KSC. So, um, now that we're there, we're going to do our circularizing. Um, for me, this just takes a wee bit of uh, pointing prograde and pointing up a bit and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just really getting in that circular stuff because um, unlike other orbits where you can really, you don't have to be too wary about how circular orbit is, um, this really does matter. Uh, well, I mean, it... Being circular as such, it doesn't matter, but th having 
the right, I believe it's, uh, having the right semi-major axis, I believe, is is critical. Um, anyway, what I'm doing here is I point uh, south to make that uh, deconnection, that ejection of my... Um, <laughs> of my thing there. I'm pointing south because if you point prograde or retrograde, when you eject that, it's going to put a force on the spaceship and it's going to knock you, um, it's going to knock your apoapsis up or down, um, because you're exerting a force. It's basically like turning on your engines for a split second. It will do damage to your orbit. Okay, so there we go. That is us, uh, done that. That's as uh, got ourselves into a geostationary orbit, a uh, geosynchronous orbit, you know what I mean, um, over uh, KSC, which is going to come, come in very handy when you're doing uh, different types of stuff. Okay, now we're going to launch the exact same rocket uh, at five times speed now, just to get right through it, because this is not very interesting. Um, we're going to launch the exact same rocket, and we're going to launch it into a polar orbit. Why are we launching it into a polar orbit? Well, simply because it's an interesting idea, isn't it? To have a geosynchronous orbit over the poles. What would happen if you do that? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to orbit... Uh, or to every 24 hours, you're going to come back to the same spot. So you're going to go over the pole, you're going to come back round, and you're going to be in the exact same spot you were last time you were in that spot. As opposed to if you're in a, a, a an LKO orbit, where next time you come around to that your point, that exact same point in your orbit, the spot on the ground will be different. In this one, it's not. It will be the same spot on the ground when you're in the same spot um, in your orbit. If that makes mo any sense to you, you can you can kind of imagine it. if if you if you kind of work it out, you can kind of figure out what it's doing. Um, so right here, we're just gonna circularize really we're not going to do much um it's just circularizing we're not going to get over the ksc or anything although if you want to do you could do just that um you could do it you could do that but doing it in a polar orbital is a lot more difficult but that level of difficulty i cannot be bothered to do right now because who wants to put a thing over the ksc in polar orbit uh nobody really unless you're being strange but for now, that's me, I'm all good, you're all good, hopefully, that's how to stick your satellites into orbits, have fun with that, I will see you in the next one!